I'll shoot him. That was easy. Stomp. Come on. There we go. Stomp. Shoot him down. And he's dead. Okay. What the hell just happened? We got attack like Sheva. They're not zombies. Good observation, Chris. Okay, Se Sheva sucks at ammo, like, I don't know, conservation. She sucks at it. So I highly recommend you take most of the pistol ammo. We can give her the gun that we're going to get in a couple minutes. And she can have that one with all the ammo for that. We're not going to fight them. At least, I've never fought them before. I don't know if you hang out. I've never tried. I wonder if I hang out for a while, if I can fight them. But I've never tried, so I'm not going to even mess with it. We're just going to leave. That's basically what they mean. Alright, you need Sheva to help you kick this open. There's occasional doors like that where you need two people to kick them open. Oh, she just stole my pistol ammo. Bitch. And there's nothing down here in this little area, like this tunnel. There's nothing down here, so you can just, like, run through. It doesn't really matter either way. But there's a couple boxes of pistol ammo up here. And a green herb. And for those of us who have played the demo for this game when it came out, you will very soon recognize what's about to occur. Thanks, partner. Give me an herb. Take this. Give me an herb. Use I'm gonna combine this. those two and then give it to her. There we go. Thanks, partner. You will recognize this upcoming part. And the thing is. The demo makes this part easier, because the demo gives you the shotgun. You don't get the shotgun in this part in the real game. So it's a lot more difficult. And I bet you, I bet everyone knows what it- there we go. This part. With the executioner. This part is significantly easier with the shotgun. But you don't get the shotgun the first time through in the real game. You just have to suck it up and fight. Which makes it somewhat difficult. But it's not as bad as you would think. It's not too bad. I mean, you can take down the Executioner pretty easily. I plan to kill the Executioner, so it's not that bad. Oh, it's that guy. He has a very short lifespan, doesn't he? That's the Executioner, and we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him and take his gold ring that he has. Ah. Yes. It's pretty exciting right there. And crap, they can see us. Does anybody know what language they're speaking? You know, it just seems the last couple games they've been speaking another language. And I can sometimes understand Spanish, but I didn't recognize most of what the Ganados in Resident Evil 4 stated. I don't even know what language this is. It's not Spanish. At least I don't think it is. I doubt it. It's probably like Kijujian or something. I don't know. Come on, come on. Okay, Roger. I have 74 rounds. 74 pistol rounds. That's exciting. I'm gonna give Sheva a little bit of it. Cause I don't need this much. Thanks. Okay. Actually, I want this... I'm gonna take this thing down. I want. I don't want this here anymore. 
I don't want to waste any ammo though, so we're just gonna like get it out of the way with the knife. Cause I want to attack these guys. Cause if they have a route in, they stop attacking the other route, which means they all funnel to this route, and it's incredibly easy to keep them out with just the knife. Come on, Sheva. I see ammo over there. I'm gonna grab this ammo. Is there any ammo over here? Ow! I think that's entertaining. When you get hurt in this game, you can see the, the place where they scratch and where they hit you. But if you wait a little bit, the blood and the scratch disappear. It's really strange. I just find it entertaining. Did you hear that, Sheva? Helps on the way. Got it. I just hope he gets here quick. And here they come through the roof. Or their ceiling. We have to wait for the executioner to kick down the fence before we can leave. So we're just gonna delay some time. We're not gonna we're gonna I'm gonna try and not have to fight any of the people. Come on, Executioner, knock the wall down. Alright, let's go. We're gonna kill that thing. We're gonna take him down. Oh crap, reload. Shoot the tanks. Alright, we're gonna let Sheva have this gun. Come on! Take it! Let go of her, you douche. The executioner is not that hard to kill, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. The enemy, some of the sub bosses later in the game are much harder. The executioner's not bad. But what we want to do is we want to kill the executioner, take the money that he drops, okay? And after we get the money that he drops, run through this area and try and clear out all the ammo before Kirk arrives. Because that's the weird thing about this game. Once Kirk arrives, all of the ammo and items that are here disappear, like instantly. It's really annoying. I don't remember how many HP this guy has, but it's not, it's not unbearable. Oh, shit, no more... I got an incendiary grenade. Shit. Back off, Sheva. Back up. Come back over here. We're gonna shoot that transformer again. Oh crap, they're in the way of the transformer. Come on, shoot it. There we go. Uppercut. Boom. Oh, Sheva, get out of the way. And the Executioner is dead. We can spend the rest of this time running around the map, grabbing ammo and items that we otherwise would not have, would not have been able to get. So, that's what I recommend to everybody. Run around the map from here on out. Oh shit, hurry up. I'll be there 
better shortly. Just hang in there. When Kirk says that, that means you don't have much time left. It's almost over. And once Kirk arrives, everything that's here disappears. So you have we have to move quick if we want to get very many more items. And don't don't bother about trying to get Sheva the machine gun rounds because there's no time. You can give it to her after the level's over. But there's no time during the level. You just got to move. We don't want the items to all disappear, because they will. Oh, dang. That's it. I can't get any more. 